Did you know that there are three command line options for the offset command that will drastically change how the command behaves? Let's take a look. I've got some several objects on my screen. All of them happen to be polylines of one sort or another. And I'm going to use these to demonstrate how the offset command works. The offset command creates copies of objects a specific di distance away. It either creates parallel lines or concentric circles. So if I come in here and I use the offset command, for example, I can specify my distance, okay, which in this case I have set to 5 eighths of an inch. Um, and it asks me right off the bat to specify my distance. But the first thing that I can do is I can use the through option. If I use the through option, what it asks me to do is to select my object and then as I move my mouse, it automatically specifies the distance based on how far from that original point my mouse will be. After I put it down, it asks me to select the object again and then the second time, it'll allow me to specify a different distance. So if I want to do several offsets that are all different, I can use this through option to make it a little bit easier. As I'm using that through option, I can also specify a distance if I need to. So for example, if I say I want to use the through option and I'm going to pick this one, I can say at one at an angle of 90 and it makes that exactly one inch away from the previous point. So I can still specify a distance, but it gives me a little bit more flexibility on how I want to specify or how I want that distance to be offset. Plus it allows me to specify a di diff different distance for each offset inside the command. The second offset option is the erase option. <clears throat> if I choose the erase option, it asks me, it says, do I want to erase the source object after offsetting? I can say yes. And then I, it works basically the same way. I can say, let's offset maybe five eighths of an inch. I can say, let's offset that ellipse or that polygon. And it offsets the original one five eighths of an inch and it erases the original one. Okay. Um, it works the same way if I make it smaller. If I come in here and I say, okay, let's erase the middle one here. And I, do I want to erase it? Yes. <clears throat> My offset distance, again, I'll set it back to 0 0.625 and I'll offset it. So it works either way. One thing to note is when I enter the offset command, it tells me up here, erase source, yes. Notice in the command line history, it's set to erase. So erase will stay constant until I turn it off. If I turn it off, it stays constant until I turn it on. The last option here is the layer. <clears throat> Notice that I can change the layer of the object that I want. So for example, this object is on layer zero. These two objects are in a layer called cyan, and this object is on a layer called yellow. If I come in here and I choose offset, I can choose the layer option. <clears throat> And my options are, do I want to offset to the current layer or to the source layer? Okay, so right now my current layer is cyan. So if I say the current layer, now it's gonna say, okay, what do I wanna offset my distance? I'll say that's fine. And when I pick this one, when I offset it, <clears throat> oops, my, orange, my erase was still on, it erased the yellow one and it put that rectangle on the uh, cyan layer. If I make the current layer yellow, okay, and then I'm gonna come back in here and I'm gonna do two things. I'm gonna turn the erase and I'm gonna say, no, I don't want to erase. And now I can say, oh yes, let's offset 5 eighths of an inch. Now my current layer is yellow when I pick this one and I offset it. The original one was on cyan, the new one is on yellow. So again, that stays current through each command if I come in here, notice it tells me layer is current. If I want it to be on the object layer, I'll say on the source. And now when I offset something, it'll be on that source layer. So if I offset this one, now it stays on that source layer. Now the last one isn't an option in the command, but it is an actually kind of an interesting little option by itself. If I start the offset command one last time, again, it says erase source is no the layer is source, and then there's this offset gap type, and right now it's set to zero. So I'm gonna offset this bow tie looking uh, polyline, five eighths of an inch, and notice what happens here when I offset it, <clears throat> when I offset it to the inside, and I'm gonna actually change that. 
I'm going to say offset 0.75 will be my distance. When I offset this polyline to the inside, what it does is it realizes that it cannot make that polyline kind of look the same way that it does. And so it makes two separate polylines out of that. But this offset gap type controls how that would normally work. So if I come in here, for example, and I erase those two, if I type in offset gap type at the command line, there are three options. Zero means it's going to trim everything out. If I change it to one, what it's going to do is it's going to fillet those edges that would normally intersect, and it's going to fillet them with the radius of the offset distance. So I've changed the offset gap type to one. Now if I come in here, I'm going to leave that fillet radius or that offset set to, dis, uh, to 0.75. When I choose this and offset it, you'll see what happens is, is it offsets that. And then instead of having two triangles where they would normally intersect, it puts a fillet in there with a radius of 0.75. The radius is 0.75 because that's what my offset distance was. The other option that you have here for offset gap type is two. So if I change this to two, what it does is instead of putting a fillet in place, it'll chamfer that, kind of like it would with the fillet, but it's gonna chamfer those instead. So now if I come in here and I say, okay, let's go ahead and leave that at 0.75. I'm gonna offset this to the inside. The, 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 it was a little bit different, but it basically where they would intersect, it measures back 75, it measures back 75. It still kind of, end up, kind of ends up with something funky in there, but it gives you something a little bit different to work with. If you want to set that back to what it was before, you simply go back through, you change your offset gap type back to zero, which is what most people want it to be.